I'm planning on doing i'tikaf this year, somebody may ask. So what do I need to know? First of all, the meaning of the word i'tikaf. Linguistically, the word i'tikaf refers to being engaged with something, with persistence and not paying attention to anything else. It can also refer to fixing something to a place such that it remains tied to that space. Islamically speaking, Ibn Taymiyyah said, I'tikaf is to confine yourself to a masjid for the purpose of worshipping Allah Almighty inside it. What are the goals of I'tikaf? Number one, to imitate the way of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who practiced I'tikaf every Ramadan till the day he passed away. Number two, to seek out Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree. Number three, to experience a close intimacy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the i'tikaf is a type of spiritual retreat which allows a person to experience isolation from the hustle and bustle of life and socializing with others in order to gain a different type of closeness with Allah. So that's number three, an intimacy, a closeness with Allah. And number four, to nurture the mind and body and soul into doing more acts of ibadah worship with greater quality, such as reciting and reflecting on the Qur'an, remembering Allah, praising Him, supplicating to Him. Question. Can women participate in i'tikaf? Yes, in principle, women are also encouraged to observe i'tikaf. As our mother Aisha radiallahu anha reports, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performed the i'tikaf and some of his wives were also observing it as well. Does i'tikaf have to be performed within a masjid? Can it be within a community center? Can I do it at home? If a person intends to perform i'tikaf, it has to be within an actual masjid. Because Allah Almighty said, وَلَا تُبَاشِرُوهُنَّ وَأَنْتُمْ عَاكِفُونَ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ Do not have sexual intercourse with your spouses while you are in retreat in the mosques. In the mosques. So the instruction that prohibits intercourse was made with the specific mentioning of mosques, masajid, indicating the mosques are the only place where one can observe I'tikaf. And our mother Aisha radiallahu anha relates that whilst the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was observing i'tikaf, he would lean over and peer into my apartment, which was of course adjacent to the mosque, so I could comb his blessed hair. The consensus has been reported on this point by Ibn Abdul Bar, Ibn Qudaba, Al Qurtubi, and others. Question When does i'tikaf in Ramadan start? It should start before. The sun sets on the 20th day of Ramadan because the night precedes the day in the Islamic calendar. So the first night in the Atikaf would be the 21st night, the first odd night of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And it should be ended after the sun has set on the last day of Ramadan such that the next day will be considered the first of Shawwal. Question, what actions should be avoided during Atikaf? Number one, leaving the mosque without a valid excuse or not in the case of an emergency, darura, or not to perform a good deed that is either required or even encouraged, otherwise this would nullify the i'tikaf. According to all of the four imams, a person may peer out of the mosque window or door without affecting the validity of their i'tikaf, because some of the body is still inside of the mosque. Also, the scholars are in agreement that a person may leave the mosque to fulfill a need, be it a religious need or a worldly act, such as making wudu or using an outside toilet. Having intercourse, however, with one spouse that causes ejaculation would invalidate the i'tikaf. In fact, the person observing i'tikaf is not even allowed to kiss or be intimate with his spouse. Experiencing a wet dream, however, would not invalidate the i'tikaf. According to all four imams, such a person would just need to carry out a ghusl and continue observing the i'tikaf. Can I perform i'tikaf for less than 10 nights? Well, whilst it's better to perform i'tikaf for all of the last 10 nights of Ramadan in order to follow the way of the Prophet وسلم, who used to spend the last 10 nights of Ramadan in i'tikaf, and he did that consistently until he passed away, in the case of a person who cannot spend all of the last 10 days in i'tikaf and may limit himself or herself to some of the days or nights, then there is inshallah nothing wrong with that. And it's narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari on the authority of Umar that he vowed to spend one night in i'tikaf in al-Masjid al-Haram and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him to fulfill his vow, which indicates that it is valid inshallah to observe i'tikaf for even 
one night. Wallahu alam. Allah knows best.